people to, to listen to, okay? And this is the problem. In this, in this video, you're going to hear exactly what listening to people will do to you, okay? You will see firsthand what listening to people will do to you. Um, and it's a very horrible place to be is listening to people, especially crazy people. Crazy people are the worst. This is a lady, and I want you to listen carefully to what she's saying. And she's saying it so nicely because she's an old lady. And old people can sometimes make you think that they know a whole lot when they, they don't really know anything. But the way she says it, again, remember we said they hide a lot of things in jokes, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, listen carefully to this. And the fool below her is all agreeing. Listen to her. Well, first of all, God is not a man. This is what some of the speakers have been talking about the whole time here. God is not a man. You got to get over that. If anything, he would have been a woman. <laughs> oh, God. But women are the creative force. He's neither one. He does not have a gender. He's not male and he is not female. Can you push pause real quick? Power. It's an he is not a he is not a male he is not a <laughs> like i said he is like not I a gender <laughs> like i said when you're dumb sometimes you're the only one that don't know you're dumb <laughs> when when you are slow you don't okay look i'm gonna bet you right now and this might sound bad to people and i don't care you should know by now when i say something i've formulated a thought about it and i'm going to say it and there will be no apology to follow so if you're going to be hurt by what I'm going to say next, close your ears or handle it. Dementia is real. And I suspect that auntie has dementia. You are literally saying, like Corey pointed out so eloquently, he has no gender. He is not a man and he is not a woman. But he would have more than likely been a woman. Yeah, because he is creative, and that's what women are. Now, it is still in an effort to push. It's in an effort to push out God from his station, his station. He calls himself Father, the masculine form. Masculine form. People like this walk around all the time. And I would consider that a curse word and unwholesome talk. <laughs> and, I, filthy, and that's filthy communication. And filthy communication. That's I, I want you to understand, this is against the Bible right here. This is unwholesome, filthy communication out of her mouth. There is a difference. So and now we, we can get a better understanding of what these words are. And she preaching. <clears throat> yeah. Just so you know. Okay, I just wanted I just wanted to drop that little gem because it came into my inbox from my wife today. I heard it and I was like, you gotta send me that. And I was gonna go a totally different way, and all of a sudden it's like it fits in right here because that biblically, that's unwholesome talk. You yeah. are calling God a female. Yeah, that's that's disrespectful. It's unwholesome talk. It's not edifying. One, it is not conducive to morality. It's not wholesome. And, and then what people do is they take it upon themselves to decide what is a curse word, what is a filthy word, what is filthy communication. What? So what are the? How, how did you, you come up with these words? What, what these words are? Because that's what somebody told you, and you believe it. And why do you believe it? Because you got indoctrinated. It's crazy, man. How people and then you go around and start saying that you shouldn't say this, you shouldn't say that. Listen. When you tell the truth, it's the truth. It's offensive. It's a, the truth. <laughs> the truth is offensive nowadays. Um, thank you, uh, Chonette Clark. I cannot love your raw truth. Yeah, it's, it, listen, that's the only way we know how to give it. Like brown that's sugar. Way. Yeah. In the, in the raw. <laughs> in the raw. <laughs> raw brown sugar. <laughs> raw sugar. <laughs> raw sugar. Oh man! All right, it was it was fun, y'all. Listen, we had a ball. This was a um, an amazing show. We really appreciate you all. Oh, listen too. I want to announce this. We will be back on our regular channel in a few days. We got to talk about when is the best time to go. But 
Uh, in a few days, we will be back on our regular channel on Too Strong. We hope you all would meet us over there. And everybody that's here would go back to Too Strong because that's where we uh, laid our groundwork at. And we want to continue with there. We're just here as the backup so that we don't lose people and we continue doing what we're doing. Uh, thank you very much, Sarah Abraham. When people get mad because you're telling the truth, those are the very ones you should ignore. Exactly. Yeah, right. You're right. And except for some special case where we need to give an explanation to to like enlighten what the truth is and bring it to the forefront. Uh, but we really appreciate the good words, Sarah. Thank you very much. Um, but just check us out over there. Also, do not forget to uh, go to the website, Fair Media, Fair Media. Let me put it back up there. There it is. Fair Media and sign up. Get on our mailing list before the website come out. Get on our mailing list so that you will get all kind of updates about what's going on, what we're doing, when we're going live, what we're doing next. And you'll also be able to go there and click and watch the shows from there. So what will happen too, if we ever get disconnected or shut off from social media, we have the website is already up and ready. We're going to be set up and ready for that. So then that way, all you got to do is go to the website and you can watch our videos and we can live stream from right there. OK, so we set it up to where just in case uh, YouTube, Facebook or whoever else decide they want to cut us off, you can go there and we will still be available. So make sure you go there and get on the um, on the mailing list. That way you would never lose contact with us, because so many times have we heard since we've been booted from our other channel is, oh, I finally found you. I couldn't find you. I couldn't find you. So that'd be a way that we can stay connected through the website. So please go there and put your uh, email in fairmediaent.com and you will be able to stay in touch with us us and uh that's it we appreciate you all we love you all you we hope you uh love us back and we'll see you again tomorrow at 8 p.m eastern eastern standard time um monday through friday monday through friday okay is that cool with y'all uh, all right thanks we will see y'all next time check you out tomorrow peace we are out of here we tackle the topics america just ain't ready for too strong.